Hi everyone, so my husband and I have been really wanting to try out this infused olive oil and we finally got around to making it. So we've made four different flavors, saffron and peppercorn, rosemary, lemon and garlic and chili. So if you want to see how we made them, please keep watching. Organic ingredients work so much better when it comes to um, infusing your olive oil. So try to get as much organic uh, herbs as you can. We're getting a few from our garden. You want to make sure that you wash and dry your ingredients extremely well. They need to be 100% dry to avoid any bacteria growth, even if you have to use the dehydrator. And that goes for all your bottles and your utensils as well. Make sure they're washed and very dry. I think it's a great idea to make little labels like this for your oil bottles. Not only does it tell you what it's infused with, but it also tells you how to store it and when the use by date is. Let's get started with our saffron and peppercorn infused oil. You're going to need 1 teaspoon of dried saffron, 2 teaspoons of peppercorns and 250 ml of high quality olive oil. Lightly toast your saffron just until they're fragrant. Take half of your black peppercorns and crush them in a mortar and pestle to release that flavour. Pour your 250 ml of olive oil in a small saucepan over low heat until it reaches 82 degrees Celsius. Now take your infused oil and pour it into a jar to cool down. Let's get started with our lemon and garlic infused oil. You're going to need only the zest of one whole lemon. Use a vegetable peeler for this and make sure you get no pith, otherwise it's going to be very bitter. We're also going to use one whole head of garlic and 250ml of olive oil. Pour your 250ml of olive oil in a small saucepan over low heat and make sure it reaches 82 degrees Celsius. Put in your garlic and let them sizzle just a little bit until the fragrance is released as well as your lemon zest. Once they've been infusing in the saucepan for 5 minutes, pour them into a bowl and allow them to cool down. Now let's move on to our rosemary infused olive oil. You're going to need 2 springs of rosemary dried and 250ml of olive oil. Pour your olive oil into a small saucepan over low heat. Add your rosemary and bring it to 82 degrees Celsius. Pour them into a bowl and allow them to cool. Now for our chili infused oil, you're going to need two fresh chilies, one red and one green, two teaspoons of dry chili flakes and 250 ml of olive oil. Pour the olive oil into a small saucepan over low heat, add your flakes, and your fresh chili. Give them a stir with a clean and very dry wooden spoon. Allow them to reach 82 degrees Celsius in heat and then pour them into a bowl and allow them to cool down. Once your infused oils have completely cooled down in those bowls, go ahead and pour them into your chosen bottles and they should look something like this. You can use these infused oils for up to a month because we're using fresh ingredients. However, if you pull out all of those herbs that we use in the infusion and you just pour the liquid into those jars, you can keep these stored away for up to three months. These bottles also work really great given as gifts. You can wrap a little bit of twine around them and put them in a little gift box as a culinary gift and it looks so rustic and cute. Don't forget to get creative when you're using your infused olive oils. You can use them in fresh salads, marinating your fish, your chicken or your meat. Just get creative in the kitchen and I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.